Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HebrewPod101.com. 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. אני אדבר עברית ברמת שפת אם תוך שלוש שנים. I'll speak Hebrew in a native level in three years. אני אדבר עברית ברמת שפת אם תוך שלוש שנים. I'll speak Hebrew in a native level in three years. You think you can? Well, prove it. Start now. אני יכולה לצפות בסרטים בעברית ללא כתוביות. I can watch movies in Hebrew without subtitles. אני יכולה לצפות בסרטים בעברית ללא כתוביות. I can watch movies in Hebrew without subtitles. There actually are a lot of good movies done in Israel in the last, like, 10 years. Obviously more, but if you want to, you know, be updated. A uh, few of my favorite are Jellyfish, which is amazingly good, I think. And another one who was actually nominated for the Academy Awards uh, called Vals im Bashir, Waltz with Bashir, I think. It's a really good movie. אני יכולה לשנן בערך 50 מילים חדשות בעברית ביום. I can memorize around 50 new Hebrew words a day. אני יכולה לשנן בערך 50 מילים חדשות בעברית ביום. I can memorize around 50 new Hebrew words a day. That's crazy, can you? You say that to me and I will be amazed. Just saying. אני לומדת עברית כבר 10 שנים. I've been learning Hebrew for 10 years. אני לומדת עברית כבר עשר שנים. I've been learning Hebrew for 10 years. Well, that would only amaze me if you don't speak Hebrew at this point, because learning a language for 10 years and not being able to speak it, well, that is amazing. אני לומדת עברית לגמרי לבד. I'm learning Hebrew all by myself. אני לומדת עברית לגמרי לבד. I'm learning Hebrew all by myself. That is impressive. How do you do that? With HebrewPod101.com? Well, in Israel, when we're impressed, we have this sound that we make. <laughs> it goes, psh. Okay, so this is what you say when you're impressed. All by yourself? Psh. I am amazed. You know what? Amazed. Hevanti et kol ma she'amart. I understood everything you said. <laughs> That's a funny one. Hevanti et kol ma she'amart. I understood everything you said. I hope you understand everything I say. Otherwise, I'm just sitting here talking to myself. But you know what? Props to you. Apart from Hebrew, I can speak a few other languages as well. Well, that's just bragging. Apart from Hebrew, I can speak a few other languages as well. Well, you don't need to brag, okay? I only have two. How many languages can you speak? Leave a comment below. Make us jealous. לקח לי רק שנה אחת על מנת לדבר בשטף. It took me only one year to become fluent. לקח לי רק שנה אחת על מנת לדבר בשטף. It took me only one year to become fluent. Well, I am amazed by that because as you probably already know, Hebrew is a difficult language to learn, but I think it's doable. עברית היא כיפית וקלה ללמידה. Hebrew is fun and easy to learn. עברית היא כיפית וקלה ללמידה. Hebrew is fun and easy to learn. I would be happy if you think that. <laughs> yeah, do you agree? Is Hebrew fun and easy to learn? Hope it is. תודה, אבל זו לא שפת האם שלי למען האמת. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. תודה, אבל זו לא שפת האם שלי, למען האמת. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. You're not a native speaker? Then, you're really good. One that would really amaze me would be, למדתי את כל זה אתמול. I learned all of that yesterday. Must have been a busy day. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Israel. אתם מוכנים? Are you ready? אז בואו נתחיל. So let's start. The most used greeting is שלום. שלום. We also saw it in the first lesson. שלום simply means hi or hello. It can also mean goodbye. 
We use it when we meet, but also can use it when we part. Shalom means something like peace, so it makes the greeting very special. It is common to say shalom in both informal and formal situations, and at any time of the day. In the morning, you can also greet people with Boker Tov, Boker Tov, which means good morning. Boker is morning, and Tov is good. During the evening, we also say Erev Tov, Erev Tov. Erev is Hebrew for evening, so Erev Tov means good evening. Boker Tov and Erev Tov are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. Another way to say goodbye in Hebrew is lehitraot. Le, hit, ra, ot. It is actually more common to use lehitraot than shalom when leaving. But most people in Israel just say bye. Bye! Now you can greet people in many different ways in Hebrew. Let's review them all again. When meeting people in formal and informal situations, shalom. In the morning until the afternoon we say boker tov and in the evening erev tov. When living in any situation, lehitraot or simply bye. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Yana's insights. In formal situations, Israeli people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. On the other hand, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we kiss each other on one cheek. Don't be afraid to do it with your Israeli friends. It's normal. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. 15 questions you should know. So, let's start. Me'efo ata, where are you from? Me'efo ata, where are you from? And if you want to ask a female, it's me'efo at. Ani mi Tel Aviv. I am from Tel Aviv. Ben kama ata, how old are you? Ben kama ata, how old are you? For a female, it would be bat kama at. I'm not gonna answer that one. Ma shimcha, what's your name? Ma shimcha, what is your name? For a female, ma shmech. A more common way of asking that would be ech koreim lecha, or for a female, ech koreim lach, which literally mean, how are you called? Ma shlomcha, how are you? Ma shlomcha, or ma shlomech, for a woman, and this is, how are you? How do you feel? Ma ze, what's this? Ma ze, what is this? Ma ze, some people use it uh, as, what? Like, what did you say? Maze? But uh, most of the times it's used uh, when you want to know what a thing is. Excuse me? Maze. Ma amarta? What did you say? Ma amarta? What did you say? And for a female, ma amart? Lo amarti klum. I didn't say anything. Efo ata oved? Where do you work? Efo ata oved, where do you work? And for a female, efo at ovedet. Efo hashirutim, where is the bathroom? Memorize this one. Efo hashirutim, where is the bathroom? Excuse me. Efo hashirutim. Efo ata gar, where do you live? Efo ata gar, where do you live? Or for a female, efo at gara. מתי יום ההולדת שלך? When is your birthday? מתי יום ההולדת שלך? When is your birthday? For a female, מתי יום ההולדת שלך? כמה זמן אתה לומד עברית? How long have you been studying Hebrew? כמה זמן אתה לומד עברית? How long have you been studying Hebrew? For a female, כמה זמן את לומדת עברית? איפה למדת עברית? Where did you learn Hebrew? איפה למדת עברית? Where did you study Hebrew? Or for a female, איפה למדת עברית? That's an easy question. HebrewPod101.com היית בישראל? 
Have you been to Israel? Hayita be Israel. Have you been to Israel? For a female, Hayit be Israel. Well, have you? Ata ohev ochel Israeli. Do you like Israeli food? Ata ohev ochel Israeli. Do you like Israeli food? And for a female, at ohevet ochel Israeli. Efo ata rotze levaker. Where do you want to visit? Efo ata rotze levaker. Where do you want to visit? Or for a female, efo at rotza levaker. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Atem uchanim? Are you ready? As bo natchil. So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Toda. Toda. Toda means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add raba. Toda raba. Toda raba. Raba means a lot. So toda raba is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we mentioned two ways of addressing someone, depending on his or her gender. Toda or toda raba can be used with anyone. But in case you want to personalize the greeting, there is another phrase you should use. If you want to thank a woman, you say toda raba lach. Toda raba lach. Now, if you want to thank a man, you say toda raba lecha. Toda raba lecha. Let's break this phrase down. Lach means something like to you when you're talking to a woman. Toda raba lach is thank you very much. Lecha is to you when you're talking to a man. Toda raba lecha is thank you very much. How do you answer? It's easy. There are two ways to answer. The first one is simple. You're welcome. Bevakasha. Bevakasha. It's the simplest way to answer. But it is more polite to say, En be'adma. En be'adma. Its literal meaning is, it's nothing, and it is a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone is saying toda or toda raba to you, we can simply reply with bevakasha or en badma. Now it's time for Yana's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use toda raba lach or toda raba lecha, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. Toda can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and anytime. You've decided to study a new language. So now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. 10 top phrases to help you in an emergency. Let's start. Hitkasher la mishtara bevakasha. Call the police, please. Hitkasher la mishtara bevakasha. Call the police, please. 
If it's really an emergency, you don't have to say please. All right? Yesh lecha chom? Do you have a fever? Yesh lecha chom? Do you have a fever? If you do have a fever and it's not just like a cold or something, you really should see a doctor. It's really important. Ibadati et hadarkon sheli. I lost my passport. Ibadati et hadarkon sheli. I lost my passport. You can also say passport and people will understand because sometimes in Hebrew we say passport. But usually we say darkon from the word derech, which means way, because it gives way for you to go places. Ani lo tov. I don't feel well. Ani lo tov. I don't feel well. That's a very general way of saying that you're not feeling well, um, but if you're at the doctor's office, you'll have to specify a little bit further than that. Ani tzarich rofe. I need a doctor. Ani tzarich rofe. I need a doctor. Doctor in Hebrew is rofe, and if you translate it to English, it basically means like a, a healer, <laughs> but it's not like the cosmic kind of a healer with the with the gems and crystals. It's just like that's that's the meaning of the word. Ani lo matzliach limtzo et haderech. I can't find the way back to my hotel. I can't find the way back to my hotel. Uh, luckily today most people have smartphones and they have a map application. So, you know, you can ask pretty much anybody to just put the address or the name of the hotel and they can show you how to go, so um, that's a big relief. Yesh Beit Merkachat Basviva? Is there a pharmacy nearby? Yesh Beit Merkachat Basviva? Is there a pharmacy nearby? In Israel, on Saturdays, usually most pharmacies and any other shops are closed, but there is always one that's supposed to be open um, 24-7, so if it is Saturday and you're stuck, you should ask for this specific one that is open. Can you help me? Can you help me? To help in Hebrew is la'azor. And I ask that for people a lot when I'm at the supermarket and I can't reach the top shelf. Ani tzarich ambulance. I need an ambulance. Ani tzarich ambulance. I need an ambulance. Luckily, that's the same word in Hebrew as it is in English. So whoever you say that to, they would understand, even if you don't know the rest of the sentence. It's good enough that you say ambulance, and they'll get it. They will call. Heichan bet hacholim. Where is the hospital? Heichan bet hacholim. Where is the hospital? In Hebrew, the word hospital is translated to sick people's home. So, Beit is home or house, and Cholim is sick people. Top Hebrew phrases. These are very useful phrases you're going to hear a lot when you come to Israel, so uh, make sure to memorize them. Okay, let's start. Shalom. Hello. Shalom literally means peace. But we use it also as a greeting. Shalom. Manishma. How are you? Uh, that's a very casual way of asking how are you. And it literally means what is heard. Like, yeah, like what have you been up to? What's going on with you? Manishma. Toda. Thanks. And probably the only way to say it. We don't have like thanks or thank you. It's just toda. Bevakasha. Please. Bevakasha, it means please, but it can also mean there you go. So you can say, Efshar lekabel maim, bevakasha? Can I have water, please? And when you give someone water, you can also say, Bevakasha, there you go. Slicha, excuse me. Uh, it means excuse me or sorry. 
So when you like push through people in the bus, you can go, oh, slicha, slicha, slicha. Uh, but when you step on someone on the bus, you can also say, oi, slicha, I'm sorry. Lehitraot, see you. It literally means to see each other again. So it's like, to see each other again. Lehitraot. <laughs> uh, it's also very casual. Beseder. Okay. This is a very, very useful word. You can say it when someone asks you, how are you? Beseder. You can say it to show you understand something. When someone gives you direction, you're like, beseder. Uh, it literally means in order, like everything's in order. Tov. Fine. Uh, most of the time it means fine. Literally, it means good. A lot like beseder. How are you? Tov. To respond to a direction, like, uh, go that way, please. Tov. Fine, I understand. Al daval. You're welcome. We use it as, you're welcome, and it literally means, oh, for nothing. Thank you. Oh, a lot of all. It was nothing. It's maybe a bit more formal than bevakasha. Most of the times when people say toda, you answer bevakasha. You can also answer a lot of all. It's pretty much the same, though bevakasha is a bit more common. Boker tov. Good morning. Boker tov, uh, which literally means good morning, and you obviously use it in the morning. Boker tov. Laila tov. Good night. So, yeah, good night you can say uh, when you leave a party at night, you know, you can say, okay, bye, good night, Laila tov. Tsohoraim tovim. Good afternoon. Tsohoraim tovim. Good afternoon. You can definitely say that. But you don't hear it that often. It literally means good noon. Ma shimcha? What's your name? For a male, it would be ma shimcha. For a female, ma shmech. What is your name? You can also ask ech uh, koreim lach, which literally means how are you called. And this is the most common way to ask. Naim lehakir. Nice to meet you. Literally, I guess it would mean pleasant. It is pleasant to meet you. And you can say naim lakir otach for a woman or naim lakir otcha for a man. A4. Where? A4 hatachana. Where is the station? A4 is very important. You should memorize this one. Ani mevin. I see. For a woman, it would be ani mevina. I understand. I see. אני מבינה. מה השעה? What time is it? The literal translation would be, what is the hour? This is how you ask. סליחה, מה השעה? Excuse me, what time is it? אפשר בבקשה לקבל? Can I please have? אפשר בבקשה לקבל מים? Can I please have some water? And this would be the same uh, for a male speaker and for a female speaker. אפשר בבקשה לקבל? איפה השירותים? Where is the restroom? איפה השירותים? Where is the restroom? שירותים is restroom. איפה השירותים? Another one to memorize. אני מצטער. I am sorry. אני מצטער. Or for a female speaker, אני מצטערת. אני מצטערת להפריע. I am sorry to interrupt. כן. Yes. You can... Use it in any way you used yes. Yeah, use it. Be positive. Lo. No. I like this word. It has a fun sound. And it was my sister's first word. Lo. No. Bali. I feel like. Bali. It's two words. Bali. And it means I feel like I want. And you can also use it as a negative. Bali glida. I feel like ice cream. I want ice cream. Lo bali. I don't feel like going to school. So it's very useful. Children use it a lot, but grown-ups use it too. Die. Enough. Stop. Uh, it sounds really bad, but it's harmless. It means uh, enough or um, stop. When someone is like bugging you, poking you, like, die. Stop it. Enough. Yeah. Kama <laughs> ze ole? How much is it? Kama ze ole? How much is it? How much does it cost? Meule. Awesome. 
great. I guess maybe the Hebrew equivalent of the word awesome, uh, it's me'ule. The masculine form is me'ule and the feminine is me'ula. Like, ha'ofa'a uh, zot me'ula. This show is awesome, it's great. Ech haya tiyul? Haya me'ule. How was the trip? It was me'ule. Great, awesome. Okay, that's it for today for Top Hebrew Phrases. Thank you so much for watching. And what is your favorite Hebrew phrase? Tell us on the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Phrase. <laughs> I forgot my name. <laughs>